Welcome back to my channel, guys. This one is about uh, five by six, approximately. My tape measure's busted, so I'm just gonna give you some random numbers. <laughs> um, it's it's not completely a flat stone, but it is a natural Lake Superior stone, and I want to keep as much of the natural stone um, visible. So I'm just gonna paint the surface white, and we're only going to paint the surface. Uh, I'm not going to paint anywhere else. So now that I've painted on my white surface with a paintbrush, I'm getting rid of all of my brush strokes. I want this to be as flat and smooth looking as possible. So you, depending on what color of stone you're using, um, you might need a few coats of white in order to get that nice white uh, surface to start with because today we're gonna try and do stained glass tulips guys I know I've been doing lots of flowers lately but I'm not sorry <laughs> I'm in the mood for spring and growth and color and you know what that's what my rocks are all about too so um, we grow every time we practice right <laughs> so I've never really done any stained glass type stones before but um, I've always wanted to and we're gonna give it a shot and you guys can let me know what you think in the end um, you'll be able to uh, sketch it on yourself as well you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better once I get the paint involved uh, but right now I'm just sketching on my idea with pencil so I'm going to do tulips, and the best way for me to explain um, how to do this is just a lot of random lines, and each each one has a different color in it. Each space has a different color. So I'm going uh, erasing bits that I didn't need and painting over top if I can still see the pencil because I don't want to see that through my colorful paint. Uh, so I'm just making sure that everything that is needed is there and that I've erased the rest, whether it's using eraser or white paint to cover it up. So I'm starting off doing um, mostly reds and oranges on this tulip. So each little section that I've drawn is going to have like a different shade in it. So the first one I, I used is a begonia. I just want to check the number for you. It is two, eight, no, that's the wrong one. Hang on. <laughs> is it Monday? <laughs> okay, begonia is 6486. And then I'm using uh, orange, and I'm mixing a little bit of begonia in with orange to make another color. And I'm using a little bit of red, um, and then I'm mixing a little bit of orange with red. But basically, each little section is a different color. And I sometimes like to lighten the centers of like I'm doing now you can't really see until I outline it with black what I'm talking about but it will all come together I just do each section in a different color um, and then I'm gonna outline it all in black so that you can see each section now I'm using my blending brush you guys have probably seen the tutorial on my channel um, it's way way back in way back when I first started. So uh, I will post a link to my blending brush in the description. It's literally, I chopped down a paintbrush to use as like almost like a little sponge for those little tiny areas. And so I'm gonna be using two different sizes of my homemade blending brush in in this tutorial. So you, you will see that. I might get out little Martha Stewart sponges here and there, but I've got really small areas to work with. Um, so it's mostly, I paint in and then sponge it on like I am with my blending brush. And then you can remove paint with your blending brush too if you have too much. Just keep sponging it around and wipe it off on a towel. I, I always have a paint towel or of course my clothing. <laughs> my clothing is atrocious, let's just say. Very colorful though, <laughs> glittery, colorful. Um, so you can see even on the leaves, I'm using three different shades of green. So like a classic green, um, I believe that's thicket green, the darkest green. And then there's also like a, a lime green or a grass green. You can use just whatever shades of green you have in your collection of paint and do each section different colors. And you can kind of do like darker sections where there would be shaded areas uh, and lighter sections where there would be more 
a light or highlight on on the leaves or on the petals um, so you just do your own little sections and then paint with black paint section each part off just like a stained glass window and you can usually see like stained glass obviously is transparent so you can see that it's not like a solid color um, so that's why I like to lighten the centers of my little parts sometimes so that it looks like more like stained glass and it, the 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 colors kind of run to the outer corners of each section on on uh, pictures that I've seen of stained glass and stained glass that I've seen in per person so yeah I'm just trying to go what I what I can think of in my mind <laughs> so this one I'm doing more yellows and oranges so I've got pumpkin orange and I've got moon yellow and I've mixed some yellow and orange together for another part and just orange for another part but you choose which shades which colors you want for your tulips of course um, but I I wanted to do some of my favorites which are red ones and yellow ones and purple ones so yeah that's what I'm going to have and then uh, as you can see I did like section off little bits of the background as well which we will will lose those little lines shortly and then we'll bring them back again so I'm doing the same thing with my leaves I showed you how to do the first tulip a little slower um, and explained it a little bit more to you um, but I'm doing the same thing with each tulip and all of the leaves the stems are kind of dark but I added a little bit of thicket and a little bit of bright green um, so just choose different shades of green that you have you don't have to add or if you want to change the colors of greens as well you can just add white um, or add yellow and it will change the, the color of green that you have um, if you don't have very much to choose from but it really does look nice just with all different shades of green right out of the bottle <laughs> and then I lighten some of them with a little bit of white or a little bit of yellow but um, that's up to you you don't have to you can just do solid colors and it will still look like stained glass uh, with the background, we're going to do a very light sky blue. Um, I don't even think that's the actual paint color, <laughs> um, but it's very light. I believe it's patina and ocean view, uh, but I always list the colors of paint that I use in the description um, so that you guys can refer to that if you have those colors um, or if you really like a certain color and you don't know what it is, then you can actually look it up because I list them for you as well as my fine lining brush, which I'm using right now to outline all my bits and pieces. Um, just make sure you section them all off. Keep your lines fairly thin, but it's not gonna be a big deal if some of them are thick because if you've seen stained glass, it's not perfect and, and everything's not all the same size and you know, it, it's not perfect. But you do what you want to do. So I've got two tulips. <laughs> Hopefully once we have the background in and we do some of the lining in the background as well. Um, if you're familiar with stained glass, what are the what are the lines in the background? What is it all made of? What what is it made of be in all these little sections? That little that black stuff that holds it all together. What is that? Is it iron? Is it what is it? I have no idea. So someone please tell me. Teach me. I did try to look it up, but it wasn't answering my, my question. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm using a dark, dark purple. You can use eggplant. Um, I have to check what color I actually used. It's, it's from Martha Stewart. Yeah, I used Martha Stewart's aubergine. So it's like a nice dark purple. So I'm mixing a little bit of magenta, aubergine, um, a little bit of pink, and that's how I'm going to section off all of my purplish colored tulip. It's going to look super nice. I am lightening some areas. I mix some magenta together, um, a little bit of white. I just want it to have different colors in the, in the sections, just like everything else. So I'm doing the same thing. Now it's getting boring. 
<laughs> doing the exact same thing to this stem. Um, I, if there's something else that you want to see in a stained glass form, let me know. Uh, I know I've had a few requests to do um, like the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Um, but I've seen so many people do that and I don't want to be boring. <laughs> I want to bring new things to you. And I don't want to keep doing flowers. I love flowers, but I know you guys are just going to be like, oh my God, not another flower. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of what I can do next. I've had some requests for horses. Um, so I may do a horse tutorial very, very soon. I did a few horses for custom orders a while back. And I was actually surprised at how how well I did for a first time. <laughs> but I know I've grown and, and worked really hard since then. And hopefully I can bring an awesome tutorial for you guys. Because um, that was a long time ago. But I just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. My uh, vet subscribers. The ones who have been here all along. Um... I want to thank you all for being patient and giving me time to uh, actually gather myself after a couple of weeks with my children and my husband being home. <laughs> but all the supportive comments that have come in, um, you guys are just the best. You, I, I know you guys have probably heard this before. You rock. You are solid. <laughs> um, we have a concrete friendship here. <laughs> How many puns? Let's let's keep going. Um, put your puns in the comments, guys. Um, anyway, I just want to say thank you because you guys are the most amazing group of people. I've I've been a YouTuber for a couple of years, and I watch a lot of different YouTube channels, um, mostly true crime. Um, so if you're a true crime junkie, please say hi to me in the comments. I love you. <laughs> I love color and happiness and glitter and sparkly things, but I also like to see justice happen. <laughs> so I'm a true crime fanatic. And so most of the people that I follow are true crime. And there's a lot of drama in that uh, area. So I'm glad that there's no drama here. It's our safe place, our art therapy area. <laughs> um, but I just love the group of people that that I have gotten to know and the comments that I receive all the time and the the support and the, the people who have sent me uh, donations to my PayPal. Thank you so much. It's really helped out um, recently, uh, like you would not believe. And there again is my cat Max wanting me to play fetch because he knows I have my notifications off, but my Maxwell is not off. <laughs> he wants me to play fetch with him again while I'm working on a tutorial for you guys. <laughs> he's going to have to wait. But if you can hear him crying, it's not because he's hungry. I swear. He's got a ball, a pink fuzzy ball in his mouth, and he's trying to get my attention. He's talking to me. <laughs> Um, so I did a light blue background. I went back and forth between two colors, ocean view and patina. So it's kind of like a, a greenish blue and a, a sky blue. And then I lightened certain areas with white. You can see that it's not just pure blue. You can see some lighting, lightning happening there. I just used a blending brush or a sponge to get those lighter areas. Um, but basically I wanted my whole background blue. And when I did that, I kind of smudged onto my black lines a little bit. So now I'm just cleaning it up and making sure that all of my black lines are nice and sharp and everything's outlined because they're all little pieces of glass together. So we got to keep them together. We can't have any of our black line missing. <laughs> I could be totally wrong about stained glass and there might not be pieces at all. It could be just somebody painted it on there. I don't know. Somebody's got to teach me. I just like to do things. I like to do the art. I don't like to do the researching and the thinking. <laughs> Ay, so I did some areas. I did mess up with my black line a bit. So I'm thinning it out. And now my cat's knocking on my door. <laughs> Ay. So I'm just making sure that everything is 
all nice, nice and clean. And I did find my lines again with my pencil because you could still see through that blue sky, but not well enough for you guys to see. So I did find with pencil again. And now I'm just outlining over top of my pencil with the black paint. And then we're going to outline the entire image in a frame of black as well, which we're not gonna worry about it being too thin. Um, but that is starting to look like a stained glass window. <laughs> it kind of looks cool. I kind of like it. <laughs> this color wasn't pink enough for me here, and I did change the other side of the tulip as well. Um, it just didn't look right. just didn't look right to me. And we're allowed to work on it as much as we want until it looks right, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So before you uh, get upset with me, there won't be any glitter or gold. And it was really hard for me to not add glitter and gold to this. <laughs> but I was a good girl. And I just left it the way it should be with no glitter and gold. Unless people, do you know of any stained glass windows with glitter and gold? If you do, the next one will have glitter and gold. Because it almost hurts me to not use my gold. <laughs> I'm just being ridiculous. I'm kidding. I actually really like this and it looks really nice once it's resin. So I can't wait to show you that part as well. Um, I'm just still fixing things to make sure they look right. But eventually I'm going to do a nice thick black outline and we're going to tie this all in together. And uh, then I'm going to go through the resin process. You're not going to see that um, because I don't show you that because I already have tutorials. I have a few of them on how to resin and I do it the same way every time. So unless I'm doing uh, phone grips or pendants, I do it a little bit differently. Um, but I have tutorials for those as well. And I show you that whole process. So I don't hide anything from you at all. And I love you. <laughs> So I'm just fixing some of my sky areas, make sure that it looks okay to me. I'm pretty sure I'm happy with it. Please let me know what you guys think in the description. And don't forget to uh, hit your notification bell. That way you know as soon as I post a new tutorial or any news or anything, um, hopefully one day you'll get a notification that says, I'm going live, oh my God. I'm gonna be so nervous when I go live and I'm not even gonna know what to do. I don't know how to do any of the camera stuff. I I watch YouTubers and I see all the complications that they have and people's voices echoing and you can't hear me and all that fun stuff and StreamYard, oh, the exciting times I'm gonna have. I, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I am nervous as heck. Um, and I don't know how to set it up so that I can paint and talk to you guys at the same time. Like, unless you can only see my hands like I'm doing now. <laughs> there. Does that look like, does that look like a stained glass window? Now I'm doing my little signature in there just for you guys. I'm going to just leave it here for you guys for just a moment so that you can take a look at it before I do the resin. This is what it looks like now. And this, my friends, this is spectacular. I will move it around so you can see it, but this is gorgeous. I really, really like it. And I'm actually like really excited to do some other things in uh, the stained glass window effect. Um, give me some ideas, any ideas, jot them down in the comments for me. Let me know what you think of this. Um, they might not even look like tulips to you, <laughs> but if they look like flowers, I feel like I have succeeded today. Uh, I'm going to move it around a little bit so you guys can see just how shiny and beautiful it is uh, with a, a layer of resin over top. You can seal it with whatever you want, um, but this, I think, is gorgeous. It needs like a plate stand or something, a nice little wooden stand for it to sit in. Uh, I feel like I'm looking through a stained glass window. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me kind of happy. It makes me feel like spring. I love you guys. Keep painting. You know I will be back very, very soon. I love you. Bye.